sodium chloride irrigation solution in a 3 liter bag. Infusion set, no intravenous needle required. Two freeway stopcocks, one connected to the inflow tube and the other to the outflow tube. Two sputum aspirating tubes, one for the inflow tube and one for the outflow tube. Several side holes are cut at intervals of half a centimeters. The exact number depends on the size of the joint cavity. The piston of the T-shaped tube of both sputum aspirating tubes is closed to form a closed cavity. Urine drainage bag. Sterile syringe, 20 milliliters. The rubber mouth of the sodium chloride irrigation solution is punctured with the tip of the infusion set. The three-way stopcock is connected with the infusion set and inflow tube. The other three-way stopcock is connected with the outflow tube and urine drainage bag. During continuous irrigation, the valve in the three-way stopcock connected with the inflow tube is always maintained at zero degrees. The valve in the three-way stopcock is connected to the outflow tube at approximately zero degrees. If the joint cavity is not filled enough, the angle of this valve can deviate from zero degrees, or the rate of inflow can be increased through the infusion sets flow regulator to keep the joint cavity inflated. If the joint cavity is overfilled, the opposite can be performed. In this case, the valve in the three-way stopcock connected with the outflow tube to 90 degrees is rotated and a syringe is used to aspirate or inject saline. Aspiration should be performed first, and if that does not work, then fluid can be injected. If much resistance is felt while injecting or aspirating saline, the reason for the blockage has been found in the outflow tube. Intermittent aspiration and injection may be more effective than continuous aspiration and injection. The capacity of the syringe should be 20 milliliters. A syringe with too small a volume cannot provide sufficient pressure for aspiration or injection. When the outflow tube is blocked, causing the fluid in the joint cavity to stop flowing, the inflow tube is also prone to blockage. At this point, the blockage in the inflow tube can be cleaned in the same way as a blockage in the outflow tube. The cause of the blockage can be easily and clearly determined by the three-way stopcock connected to the inflow and outflow tubes. If no resistance is felt while injecting saline, then one should consider other causes, such as folding and twisting of the tube the wrong irrigation speed or the improper suspension height of the sodium chloride irrigant 